Hey guys, welcome back to This Farm is a Mess. I am Kirk and I want to talk about what I got to do today. It's been a long day. We started out early with a breakfast catering at work, um, but we got through that, cleaned it up, got through the work day, and me, my boss, and my coworker, we got to spend some time this afternoon on the creek. We headed up to Paint Creek Quarter right there on the Tennessee, North Carolina line. It's a really beautiful area up in the mountains. Uh, some beautiful trout fishing and we caught some fish. It wasn't the best day of fishing but any bad day of fishing is better than a good day at work as they say and, and I can certainly attest to the second half of the day being better than the first. Go check out the Burnett Bunch TN. Um, that's my boss's channel. He has a lot of fun uh, content on a wide range, wide variety of subjects, camping, fishing, just everyday family life. They have a pretty wild family, three boys um, that keep them going 100 miles per hour 24 seven it seems. That video up there is our fishing trip. So we did bring home four trout. I've already gutted them and this afternoon we are going to fillet them up, batter them, fry them and make some sandwiches. Uh, hope y'all enjoy uh, what we're having for dinner tonight. Here are the four fish that we brought home. Uh, Dustin was giving credit to myself and Yvonne earlier, but what he did not share was that his was in fact the biggest one. That one turned around the opposite way. It was a really nice fat fish. As I mentioned, I've already cleaned them. I took them outside and uh, had the girls help me gut them. So now we are ready to fillet them and marinate them. All right, got these guys cleaned up, filleted out, and now I'm just going to pour some buttermilk and Tabasco sauce over them, get that mixed up nice. And that's all, uh, all I need for the wet batter. We are gonna keep it real simple here. We are just gonna use some yellow cornmeal and some Tony's Creole seasoning. Uh, I would prefer to use a fine ground cornmeal, but that was all that the grocery store had, so the texture was a little bit off. And now it's time for the fun part. I have let my oil reach about 350 degrees, so that is hot and ready. Now all I need to do is take each filet and gently dredge it through my cornmeal and seasoning and um, gently just drop that into that hot oil. It'll take, I don't know, maybe four, four minutes or so for the fish to cook all the way through. Really um, just looking for good color on the cornmeal and these small fillets will be done um, by the time I've achieved that. Keep in mind you don't wanna crowd the pot too much as each one of these fillets is gonna drop the temperature of the oil, especially when I have a small pot and not a whole lot of volume in there. So I do kinda of wanna take my time. I'll let these cook for a little while as I start to dredge my next pieces and um, kind of drop them in stage by stage as, as I cook. Uh, I've only got eight fillets to get, get through and like I said, it doesn't take long to cook these all the way through, so this won't take too long. Those first fillets I dropped in have been in for about three and a half minutes and they look perfect. I'm gonna go on and pull those, let this next batch keep on cooking and continue until I have cooked all of my fish. In the meantime, I'm gonna go on and toast off some buns and get the rest of my sandwich mise en place ready. To finish this sandwich, I'm just going to spread a little bit of Duke's mayonnaise on these buns. Place a couple of pieces of trout on each one, and then I'm gonna top it off with a little bit of coleslaw. Uh, I dress this slaw with just some mayonnaise, a little bit of whole grain mustard, just a little bit of sugar to sweeten it up some, and then some apple cider vinegar to give it a little bit of a kick there. Uh, really basic sandwich. I'm gonna finish it off with some roasted potato wedges that Julia's been working on while I put this stuff together and we are going to enjoy our dinner and here it is our fried trout sandwiches there really is nothing like eating a fish that was swimming around just a couple of hours ago especially when you get to go out and enjoy the experience of catching it 
and uh and cleaning it and doing it all with good friends so thank you all for watching please stay tuned this farm is a mess